Hey guys, it's Neely and Daniel. And today we have a special guest with us, Jovan Makovaraya. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, so before we go into the video, just follow his YouTube channel. You can find him at Jovaraya. Spell it for them. J O V I E, mm -hmm. and we have space. R O Y A L. I want right. to put the, the, the link in the description below. So before you even continue with this video, let's head over to his channel and click subscribe. Awesome now, content. Today, right. we're going to be talking about 10 things. Yes, 10 things that will basically show us the strength of their relationship. Okay. So, so we're in our two year anniversary um, month. Ooh. That's for November. Big up on ooh, ooh, Yeah, so ooh. we're testing our relationship to see you know, if we still got it. Yeah. Usually you hear both of them talking, <laughs> but I'm gonna be the one that's gonna be asking the question. Alright, mother. Alright? Yes, but mother. just before we start, I wanna find out a little bit. I'm just testing the temperature of their relationship right now. <laughs> I want to find out something. Yeah. Which of these four, well let me put it at five, do you prefer? Mm -hmm. Do you prefer an open communication? Oh, I'm thinking I'm say open relationship. Come on, let's say. What? What's that? Hold on, hold on. Do you prefer open? Never, never in it. But this is what I'm saying. Hold on, hold on. All right. Open communication. So open communication is number one. Or do you prefer number two? Listening and feedback. 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 Listening Mutual intimacy and last and final trust. So we have to choose our preference. Which of those five do you believe is the one that you see are valid the most for your relationship? So there's open, open communication, communication mm -hmm. mutual intimacy, trust, listening and feeling heard, or working through disagreements. You wanna go first, babe? Or you wanna go first? All right, I would um, have to choose one, right? Yeah. I would say trust. Let mm, me know why trust. Trust is trust is the foundation of a budding marriage. You know? mm -hmm. um, if there is no trust, then slowly and surely mm -hmm. the relationship will take time to deteriorate. Yeah. And it's. And trust is very connected to the other areas mm -hmm. as well. So I would say trust. So it's like a ripple effect into the other areas of the relationship. Yeah, yeah. Once the trust is there, yeah, it can be able to manifest other things in a relationship in the right way. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So I would say open communication. Mm, so I see right here two different things. No, so it, it, it is the same because I yeah. believe when you have open communication, that fuels trust. Because you have persons who are constantly sharing, you know, sharing where you are in, in life, talking about your day, mm -hmm. talking generally, then that develops trust and it develops intimacy and it develops all the other ah, things that you list. With, when you have a couple or when you have a marriage where there's no communication, persons feel misheard, they don't feel seen, mm -hmm. they don't feel that they can't trust the person because that person is so closed up. What are you hiding because they're not communicating? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So with open communication, I think that opens the door to all the other good stuff that you mentioned. Yeah. Okay, all right. So, you know, I've seen where trust and open communication both complement each other. Mm -hmm. And of course, they both, as you know, they're a couple. And if you have not yet subscribed to their channel, please do the right thing right now. Stop. It's free. Take the moment and hit that subscribe yes, button. Yes, all right? Yes. Yes. Thank you. So we're gonna be testing them now. So I'm gonna jump right into that. So let's go. So they're the point to just know. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, hey. But wait, let us see if the heat is gonna be Lord. up right now in this place. If so actually communicate. Let right. us see if they're communicating. Alright, let's go. How long have you both been married for again? Two years. Two years, November 15th. Yes. Mm -hmm. Alright, people. So that was just a trick question. Alright, but it was an actual question. So they got it correct. 
So let me see now. We're going to go right into the first, first question. Okay. Right? So, so, who so yeah, yeah. what are you? I'm going to actually throw it out to. So you will actually know. I uh, just indicate to who the person okay. is gauged to. Okay. okay. So this one is for both of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. What it is that you like that your partner is doing right now? Or what it is that your partner is doing right now that you really like? Oh, that's an easy one for me. Um, I would say what I really like right now that Daniel does is he's involved in all areas of the marriage, all areas of uh, my life. He's supportive. So involved with my business, he's involved with the chores, he's involved with what concerns me, what bothers me. He's involved with basically everything he ensures that he puts himself you know, around and not just remains detached from what's happening in the mm. marriage and in my life so that's one thing that i really like that's nice that's nice How about you, Danny, boy? Oh, one one thing i, I would say motivation mm -hmm. motivation you know she's always always in my corner motivating me okay. even when i don't see myself doing something she you know sees beyond that yeah many of the things that i'm doing now if it wasn't for her <coughs> motivation mm -hmm. and belief, you know, mm -hmm. huh? I am Daniel Pasley. Pretty yeah. Pasley. <laughs> 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 that type of wife, you need know, yes, that boy. Yes, like, yes, yes, yes. What are yeah. you talking about? You know, yeah. if, if we get in a like a toxic um, habit of comparing ourselves to uh, to somebody, say, hey, nobody do that. Yes. you're a Daniel freaking Pasley. That's right. Okay, that's right. Yeah. That's the energy. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. I mean, so, you know, it's really. Yeah, so I, I really love that. Um, it's always good to have somebody in the corner that it's always pushing it. Always. Oh, oh, and yeah. I just run right over into the next one. Are you both happy right now the way you divide roles and responsibilities in the household? Yeah, man. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yep. And it has been consistent, actually. Yeah, because that's something we spoke about before we married. We ensure mm -hmm. that we spoke about what each other don't like. And if I mean, I currently like something, say something changes, go mm -hmm. back to open communication, we'll talk it. about it. It's just based on what each other like, want to do, what works for us. Mm -hmm. I got you. And, and it helps to, to, to not be overwhelmed mm -hmm. when the workload is shared. Yes. And as I want to share it, um, you're, you're more energized to do something else. Yes. Right? And if somebody just put all the weight, mm -hmm. um, the person would have been Exhausted, exhausted and maybe even cause resentment yeah. for the next person yeah, yeah. when one, yeah. When one box, person box, exhausted box, box. then they never have no sex oh, and then no sex in the relationship with our next problem so share the load people yeah. share yeah. the load yeah. all right let it go <laughs> let it go i want to find out two traits that you both admire about each other two traits yes most get that bad my foot bottom my first mercedes <laughs> Two traits. Um, you want me to go first? Mm -hmm. Alright, we can do alternately. I would say one, Daniel is annoying. Mm, so she admires your annoyance? Yes, because. You admire my man? That is. We shouldn't even admit that. Odd. But to be honest, let me tell you why. It's hard to be upset with him. Because I'm going to come big friend and I'm going to annoy you till I start upset. It's hard to have a bad day because I'm going to do something to make you laugh. So even though at first I'm annoyed at it, mm -hmm. I end up like it just breaks down my walls. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't stay at annoyance, ah. but it is annoying. But then I appreciate it because it does make me feel better. So that's one trait I like. Interesting stuff. Yeah, I would say one trait I like and it's just been consistent since. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've met that she's down to her. Natural. Yes, and she's pretentious and then going, you know, mm -hmm. stushy, stushy and thing and thing. She can be very flexible and I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, she's somebody who is, who, if she thinks it, yeah, um, and it's bothering her, she, she is speaking it, you know, so vocal, she, mm -hmm. doesn't keep things in and bottle it up. Right. Yeah. So, although sometimes for me, because I'm so used to, about the conflict sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it, it is it is mm. very good for growth actually yeah, yeah. when 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 yeah, the person good enough speaking when you can have a partner to 
if you have a little weakness here, so you don't really have that thick of strength in a certain area, and they can be able to balance drive that you. and balance it up, mm -hmm. that's really good. Yeah. So you see the growth in you, maybe in the case of speaking out or to stand up on your feet, your partner provides that type of way in which they operate so you can get a little bit of that, you know? Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. It's true. And it's, a, it's a, you know, a little mm -hmm. bit more upfront, a little bit more um, verbalize yeah. what you think. What? Stand up you mm -hmm. know, for yourself from like, time to um, time. Not every time. It, it can't get too much in the people pleasing. Yeah. Uh, you know, and yeah. she just showed me that you have to listen no, no, for uh, what you yeah. believe in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you have to really put yourself there sometimes first yeah. so people don't walk over you, you know, and that leads me now to find out this oh, very two. interesting Oh, oh yes, two, two, two. 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 So let me, give you, let me give you the other two Yeah, other my one. next one is Daniel knows how to get deep It's not just surface, surface convo You know, when we really want some deep conversation Deep conversation yes, The yes, intellect yes. Him have it. Yeah. We can go there. Not just face boy, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Him cute and all, but up as a click. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what what I also hope is that she she's a visionary. Mm -hmm. You know, she's a big picture thinker. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you know, sometimes sometimes because for me kind of lays back kind of thing, and I sometimes mm -hmm. move the flow. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. And, and, and and she sometimes you know like. Look far beyond and think. Mm -hmm. I'm so waiting about that. Yeah. Look yeah. far, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes we as men yeah. we don't really future vision. Um we don't screw our brain that way most times. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're not channel that way naturally sometimes. Women would maybe sit down and they would plan out all right, what are, what, what are gonna be what, what are, what, what's gonna be my next steps, you know? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, the next day after, the we year, are more like that. Three years, year, five you know? years. Yeah, yeah. But we as men, we just go with the flow, as you say. Mm -hmm. You know, some men, you know, they are very much analytical. So yeah. They want to slow down, all right, mm -hmm. for this month, mm -hmm. next, and so we know it comes with varying ways. Exactly. You know, exactly. our approach to people. But I see so far that you both are in a good, 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 good page. So far. Praise the Lord. Okay. Let me see if you are on a good pace in this one. Are you both satisfied with the frequency and the way in which both of you have your sexual relationship? <laughs> no? Satisfied? Yes, the balance boy. is right. I hear what's going on over there. Hey! Hey! Yeah, I'd say, I'd say, you know, satisfied. But you Sometimes, mean? sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> it's so like, daddy boy, I'm a different thing I'm not busy, you know? Yeah, no, satisfied. Don't tell me what you could work tap up for. Oh, please! I believe Don't that. Don't even go in there. 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 Realistically, realistically, boy. Mm -hmm. so, so, sometimes it's only a seasonal. So sometimes it might be going. Going and going with um, other things like such as work and yeah, personal yeah. stuff. And <laughs> like, so, 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 many, so, so many give this boy the tone of the skin. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I'm a man, your exactly. relationship is not, yes, sex is important, yeah. but mm -hmm. it's not the foundation. Right. You know, we have, we have other desires. Like sometimes we just really want to watch a show. Yeah. So we say, okay, do we have sex and do we watch a show? Mm -hmm. We both really just want to watch a show, we both mm -hmm. really just not want to. And that's okay, that's yeah. normal as well. It is, it is, it is. And that's why, you know, this other question that I'm about to pose, you know. It shows where really and truly both of you are because with this relationship and the friendship and the, really the sexual part of it, mm. you would now know if it is that sex is really only the focus or other things around it is also important. So I want to know mm. how is the friendship between both of you right now? So taking sex out of the picture, mm. you know, taking every other things out of the picture, yeah. you see your wife as a friend, you see him, your husband, as, as a, a friend, friend just the same right now. Mm -hmm. Because so many times you're in a relationship, mm -hmm. but people forget that, hey, you can come to me as a friend and not just as a husband. Yeah. You know, I'm still your friend. Yeah. So how is the friendship in the relationship? I think that's something that I love about our marriage, is we're still idiots. Sometimes mm -hmm. we show a little piece of that for Instagram and stuff. Mm -hmm. But we're really still idiots. We still, mm -hmm. we still remain, we still have that childlike, and um, those childlike moments mm -hmm. where we'll probably wrestle. 
run up and down that house a yeah, we're doing and catch it. Um, Some stupidness that just keeps ago. it yeah, so yeah. jovial. Yeah. You know, and I think not to say it mm -hmm. was only because we waited till marriage, but mm -hmm. that played a big part where we kinda learned how to be in a relationship and keep that friendship. That friendship. So then sex entered, but we still had what we had before without the sex. The sex. Good. Good, good. I, I, would, I would say friendship was the very foundation of our relationship. Mm -hmm. In that, um, way before we were together, we were friends. Mm -hmm. And we enjoyed each other's company. Nice. And mm -hmm. it, it just it just got better. Yeah. And, and even now, um, we still see each other as friends. Yes. You know, we, we, we still um, joke together, we still... Um, you know, just do some silly stuff together. Mm -hmm. We still love each other's company, enjoy okay. each other's company. Mm -hmm. um, not every time, though. That's it, time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Not every time. Oh, it's, okay. Yeah, so not every time. Not every time. Not every time we want to be in each other's presence because you know sometimes you know you know yeah. Great, um, yeah, like like when I'm late for work, when he when I'm late for because oh. me I work me have a system. Mm -hmm. So it's eight thirty. I kind of want him out of the house now because of mm -hmm. my. My little, oh, my personal time, but then the family, nature, manage. You just told me about things that you like and so forth, but is there something that you have stopped doing, nearly and you have stopped doing that you both wish that you know individually you were still doing? So, is there something nearly stopped doing that you really wish you would stop, um, continue to do or to pick up back on that she stopped doing? Uh, she stopped doing. Mm. Make you go first. You go first. Mm. I, I would say it's something that I, something I talk to myself. Uh, what I, I think I stopped doing that I'm sure that she would want to you know, pick up back on. Mm -hmm. um, being a little bit more romantic mm -hmm. and a bit more spontaneous. That is an area that is lacking on my side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. To be fair, and Daniel, he was never romantic. So it's not sending yeah. very romantic yeah. mm -hmm. and spontaneous well, and it stopped doing it. It was always something he struggled with. So I can't say I saw yeah, what he did do and yeah, he stopped doing Because uh, I knew when I decided to marry him that he was not like that. But him try sometime. Mm -hmm. Something that we stopped doing and it's not because the other person is slacking off. Mm -hmm. It just be like going out more. But that's because we made as a couple that decision for kind of save and sacrifice instant gratification mm -hmm. for long term yeah. results yeah. so yeah. that's something before we're married we never have enough responsibility so we usually always at the sum yeah. but yeah. We, we came together with this side all right and, and that is important in a relationship because so many times people look at relationships and think that oh yes man you two look happy together you know see a church holding hands etc mm -hmm. but they don't remember that you still exist outside of just coming to church and looking nice life mm -hmm. still happens mm -hmm. so you still have to find a way to put food on the table mm -hmm. you still have to find a way as both of you to balance out each other's life mm -hmm. so you have to plan ahead and you have to still plan in what is happening now mm -hmm. so indeed of course that is something important for both of you as long as you're making that decision together yeah, yeah. yeah. important yeah say so come back to open page. communication yeah. Yeah. So, last and final question yeah mm -hmm. and uh, i'm just gonna turn it over to nearly first is there anything that danny boy is doing when daniel is doing now that you like him to change <laughs> oh god where do I start? Uh, uh, I usually frivolous little things, nothing major. Mm -hmm. So I'm not talking about like, some little, just stuff where personally make me glitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it ticks you off. Yeah, it's not no major, major thing. It's just mm -hmm. little preferences like, um, see, it's so small, I can't even think about it now. Mm -hmm. I'm not a glitch for. Yeah, glitch for. I'm using stuff them. I'm down over them for my ear products. It was with everything oh, yeah, in yeah, the ear. Yeah. I'm never yeah, on yeah. the ear. I'm still using our ear products. I'm buying my own stuff. I'm still using my stuff. 
interesting really. Some some little some little some little some little some trivial stuff. Trivial stuff. And I'm sure I trivial do stuff, stuff. Mm. too. My mom has asked him to go for things. Mm -hmm. But make him tell him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean I mean from time to time I just can't bother. It's right there. Mm -hmm. But it's you there right there, right there so it's different. It's right there. But do you want it? You know? Yeah. But you know, again, it's a, it's a minor thing. Mm -hmm. Um other thing, I can't I can't change that. No one can change. You're just yeah. unconscious. Wow. Which one? The one where she hey, unconscious. Sees, oh, sleeping? Yeah. No one. Oh come on. <laughs> Don't even come for me. Do you see talk? Me uh, sleep, but you don't sleep. Oh, me, oh, me drool. <laughs> so don't even come with my sleep tank. I will wake up for money. I think you wash your ear. <laughs> so don't get me started. But then, it was a catch. You can't yes. change that. But you just have to accept yeah, yeah, it. Me yeah. sleep tank in drool, perfect couple. <laughs> well, everybody, you have learned something about the couple today, and I'm sure you enjoyed it because I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> you both. I really thank you for your transparency. Yes, yeah, so and, you're, and you're a good moderator. Man. Yes, yeah. you good. Yes, yeah, thank, thank you, Jovan, for facilitating or yeah, call it a relationship audit for its yes. second anniversary. That's right. That's right. You know. So, guys, listen up. You should be here again next week when you do the next video. Yes. Right? So, for all the newcomers, yeah, man, you see that button that says subscribe and it's still red? Do the right thing, man. Do this, mm -hmm. yes, and for all of those who are coming back, yeah, the regular persons who are on the channel, let's share with it more, please. Keep yeah. on share like and share, as on, and leave a comment. So, this is it for this. So, please, sub, 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 s